A colleague in uh, Christchurch, Derek Chernside, has pointed to a free and open source desktop publisher, one that I hope will uh, rival the InDesigns and uh, the page makers and the like. This one's called Scribus, um, and after a not too bad install, I had to download a second plugin before I installed Scribus. Uh, but it's fairly well uh, explained in the download page on scribus.net. Um, so I've installed it and I've opened it after the first in, uh, first opening after the install. It takes a fair while to get started and that's because it it's, uh, creates, a, for reasons I don't know, but it creates a font cache. But after that first startup, um, it's, uh, it starts up quite quickly. And when you start it up, it pops up with this new document window, which is fairly similar to InDesign and similar desktop publishing applications. But from my point of view, it's a little bit easier to understand. It's got the icons down the left-hand side for a single-page, double-sided, three-fold and four-fold document. Uh, and then the size being A4 and all the usual things, orientation for portrait or landscape, and um, then the printer margins, which you can set. Um, number of pages, etc., etc. So if we just, I'll just, I've already got one open, so I'll press cancel on that. But OK would open it. Now looking at it, it's nice, simple graphic user interface here. Uh, based on the YouTube video that I pulled up from, let me just check that YouTube video. It's um, demonstrating using Scribus. It's a nice little quick demo from Jason Cotpage, the user, uh, showing some basic um, features, which I'm not going to go much further than, uh, except that um, I'll just record my first exploration of the project. So, but that that first demo is definitely good for getting started on the program. So let's have a look at it. Creating a um, picture box, click that picture icon there, draw a box, double click in the picture box and then navigate to a picture. I'm not sure where I've got one. Is it, uh, let me, oh, I'm not too sure. Let's see. There should be a folder here called Pics. Yes, and uh, that'll do. Now, it comes up and it's 100%. Now, the screen recording from YouTube, uh, it showed me a way to get it to fit in the um, fit in that box. Let me see, adjust frame to image, or size and screen level. Oh, I'll just have to watch that YouTube one again, but it was quite simple. Just frame to image is what I'll do at this stage. Okay, so there's an image. Um, now, text box. Uh, along here is the text box icon. Click that. Draw a box. Double click. No, it didn't find a text. Double click made, gives me to type in text. So at that page I could copy and paste. I wonder if I can import text. Import. Yes, get text. And I'm not sure what sort of formats. All supported formats are CSV, .doc, HTML, ODT, PDP, PDB. Is that I'm not sure what that one is, and etc. So there's a few of the formats it imports as far as text goes. File, import, open SVG, so that's the scalable vector graphic, the alternative to flash, uh, open document drawing. Okay, so there's a few things it supports there as far as imports go. With the preferences, what have we got in the preferences? Okay, nice again. Uh, logical way to go through the preferences based on icons. So general, we've got the <coughs> language theme, la di da di ta, document, right, guides, typography, tools, hyphenator, fonts, color management, PDF export. What's the detail in there? It says on the website that it's a uh, high quality PDF export. Um, keyboard shortcuts. No, keyboard shortcuts. Okay, there's the keyboard shortcuts. So, so far I am loving the application because I'm finding it quite easy to go through. Uh, I was expecting the worst and I've got the best, I think. So it's a good find from Derek Churnside. Copy item properties. What are some of the icons here? Edit text with a story editor. Hmm, what's that? Oh, there's something new I haven't seen before. Story editor. Okay, anyway, just bear with me here. What's this? 
edit contents frame so it's got all the nice help pop-up windows extras generate table of contents dehyphenate text manage pictures it's certainly got everything we might need for as far as creating books and posters and um, fancy layout uh, PDFs etc so the first of the open source desktop publishing applications and fully fledged by the look of it good find